I went to Libya to report and to see how the healthcare personnel, the challenges that they had to face, like how close they could come to the front, how long they could stay in the front. Come, come, come. Come, no, I don't, no time. Come. They had to deal with shortage of doctors, nurses, no electricity. They had to deal with uh, several cases that they never treated before. Omar is a 19 years old ambulance driver. This is the first time he's driving an ambulance. They just gave him the, an, an ambulance with a jump start. And they said, okay, go. And he had with him sometimes a doctor, or sometimes a medical student. And they went to the, went to the very front line. Omar worked 24 hours a day. He never went home, as basically everybody inside the hospital, because no one could go home. The emotions of the hospital were very high. Every time that the rebels came in with wounded soldiers, it was also problem for the hospital because many people would try to get take revenge. When a doctor tried to treat one soldier, they tried to stop the doctor. One of the deficits. We see how close everything was happening, how close the doctors they actually they have to get. That's a thing that happens in a war. You have seconds between saving a life and, and losing one. Mm -hmm.